Today, our very special guest is Carrie Cook, who has been a friend of mine since, I think, 2005, um, when you attended Real Estate Investors Institute. Um, That's right. And um, I have come to find out now, after all these years, one, I know you're a successful investor. Um, River Ridge Properties has done pretty well, uh, and you're in Peachtree City, which is a prosperous area. Um, but tell me, I just found out that you and I have something else in common and it's that we both spent some time in the scouting movement. And I just wondered if you agreed with me that my time in scouting was helpful to me in, in, um, I guess getting ready or I hate to say being prepared. That's the scout motto, be prepared. <laughs> right. But, yeah. you know, in, in real estate investing and in property management, we do have to be prepared um, because we get some crazy curveballs thrown at us. Carrie, right. share with the folks listening and watching right now. Uh, first, what do you remember about being a Boy Scout? And that's been more than a couple of years ago, hadn't it? Well, I think it was about five, uh, not 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 too long ago. You but, and me both, okay? okay. <laughs> right. Uh, it was just uh, such a great experience, and I think one thing that struck me was the uh, doing Boy Scout honor and everything. Uh, it just gave me great values, and it gave me, I think, a lot of confidence. And you know, just things like being in nature and things like that, you know, were very uplifting to me. But there was a lot of discipline. You know, we went to Boy Scout camps. Uh, you know, we, we listened to our scout leader, and he, and he taught us a lot. So I think all of that contributed to me, I think, for being, if you use the word pardon, or you, to use the word ambitious. <laughs> but it, it did make me have thoughts about, you know, I want to be successful, and I really appreciated someone taking the time and mentoring me uh, like the scoutmaster did. But it, it just, I think, grounded me, if that's the word, and gave me a lot of confidence uh, in my life. I, I, you know, couldn't agree more. I um, look back um, at my time and, you know, wh- how old are we then? About 10 to 15. I remember yeah. the oldest kids were 16, I think. Um, right. and, and when I hit 16, I had not achieved the Eagle Scout rank and I became more interested in car fumes and girls perfumes than I did about spending the night with little boys out on camp somewhere. Right. Uh, right. But I had promised my mother that I would get the Eagle Scout award if I possibly could. And she said, you promised it and you're going to keep that promise. So right. I, <laughs> also had determination there. You know, you've right. heard you've heard me on this program. Uh, I always say that one of the things I think I'm proud of is that I am trustworthy, and mm-hmm. and it's to me that means not misleading people, not um, promising them things that you don't intend to or can't deliver to them. Is there an right. application there a, as a real estate investor? I think so. Uh, one thing, this real estate investor, I'm not sure if you know him, David Tilney. Yeah, sure. Right. Property management is, is his uh, specialty, if you would. But I think being in the Scouts, too, uh, and, and I, I feel empathy in, you know, in dealing with my tenants, uh, and he shared this with me, treat tenants as though you're employees. You know, they're working for you and you treat them with respect. And I have tried my best to apply that because I think it works the best way. I don't want to have relationships with tenants where I'm the bad landlord. Uh, I wanna be respected. I'm going to do everything to make a tenant's uh, house and life as as good as possible. I want them to live in a comfortable house that's well-maintained. So I think that- I, I, let me let me jump in. I took the liberty of visiting your web page, and I was blown away by the testimonials that you have gathered from past tenants. How in the world mm-hmm. do you get them to say such nice things about you? 
Well, I, I have to be a great landlord. <laughs> no, I... I was just going to say, obviously you are. Um, David Tilney, I think, was a recent speaker at uh, Georgia RIA, and I'm sorry I missed mm -hmm. him because I know of him and I've heard good things about him. If you had one recommendation, if somebody called you and said, hey, Carrie, I am interested in learning about uh, real estate investing and, and they said, I have two questions. One, is this something that I could or should be doing right now? And number two, what would be the most important piece of advice that you could give me? And I'm, I know I'm just throwing these at you um, out of the blue, but um, talk to the folks okay. out there. Somebody listening right now, Carrie, is saying, wow, I don't know that I could ever find my way into owning uh, residential real estate, and then offering it as a property manager to other people. What would you right. tell them? Uh, I would say it's a good time or it's good to get into the business. You know, the market is really high now and it'd be tougher to find a, a good bargain, but they're, they're still out there. And, and one thing, uh, John Schaub, and of course you, have, you know, give me a, a ton of education too. Uh, John Schaub, uh, says, go out there and knock on doors and talk to people. Uh, so, you know, if you go out, uh, you can talk to banks, you know, there's foreclosures, you know, they're, they're still happening out there. But I would say, yes, uh, get into the business. But at the same time, go to classes, get educated through you. And I, again, John Schaub, David Tilney, those so you can learn the business. It's like going to college and getting a four-year degree. You can't just go out there and get you a lease out of some book or off some website. Um, but I, I do think uh, getting into the business is a great idea. To me, it, it changed, I think, my outlook on life, number one, when I got into the business uh, about 17 years ago. Um, and I created kind of a new carry cook. Uh, and learned a lot and have really enjoyed it. There's been a lot of challenges, especially in, in the beginning, um, but you learn. And the thing to do is to go and take courses, uh, listen, you know, participate in your coffee break uh, that you have on Saturday. Um, so, yes, I, I would advise getting in the business. The stock market may go up and down, but usually rents are fairly stable. And in Atlanta, like you mentioned other night, the Wednesday night meeting, rents are going up and home values are going up. So it's it's a good time. It's a little difficult, uh, like I said, about buying and getting a, a good going into the deal uh, dis discount. But I still say uh, get, it's, it's a good business to get into. It served me well. I started out doing it part time. I retired and now I manage all of my properties and been managing them by managing them by myself since I got into the business. Fantastic. Um, you know, I, I love that you mentioned our mutual friend, John Schaub, who, by the way, I'm in contact with trying to get him to come to Atlanta. He's, mm -hmm. uh, as, as you know, uh, uh, in Florida and sometimes reluctant to leave, but I'm a, right. I think I can get him up here anyway, again. But um, he always said the best time to buy real estate was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. And, yeah. and that has always been an inspiration for me. You know, there's no such thing as a last house. And as you point out, there are opportunities out there. Well, Carrie Cook, I just want to say thank you. You're a great American. I appreciate um, your Boy Scout experience. I appreciate your um, contribution to uh, the real estate coffee break today. There's somebody listening, somebody watching right now who's saying, wow, that helped me um, make some decisions that are potentially going to be life-changing. And that happened to me 40 years ago. <laughs> and, right. and now you have become part of passing that on uh, maybe to a new generation of investors. So, Kerry, yeah. thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, John. I've enjoyed participating and I'll be glad to talk to any prospective real estate investors too. Well, I was just going to say, I, I appreciate, you know, you getting me into the business, helping me. And uh, I met John Schaub at one of your seminars. Oh, did you? <laughs> that's, okay. That's how I met him. But uh, again, uh, 
it's been a great business. I've learned a lot about tenants. And one thing that John Schaub told me too is uh, you need to teach your tenants or they'll teach you. <laughs> I love that. That now, was see, another one. <laughs> that's that line. I'm going to adopt that and then later claim that I invented that. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Why not? All right, Carrie, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Carrie, right. thank you for this so much. I appreciate it. And, thank you, John. Uh, we'll be talking to you real soon, okay? Very good. Take care. By, uh, by the way, two. <laughs> two. <laughs> T-W- I read I read that and laughed out loud. I hadn't thought about that in I'll bet 50 years. <laughs> yeah. Great, right. great thing. It was. See y'all a little later. Thanks now. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.